What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be taking a look at a game called They Are Billions, which is an RTS strategy game that's basically player versus environment. There's no PvP in it as of right now as far as StarCraft and like Command and Conquer and stuff like that goes. But it's drawing heavily from those buckets, from those wells, I suppose, because a bucket is very shallow, whereas a well, depending on how well it's dug, never mind, we're not going to talk about that right now. So They Are Billions is an RTS where you have to defend a cogwork city or a clockwork steampunk city from literal millions of zombies. I'm not even kidding you, this picture right here is actually what the game looks like. They come at you in droves. Like, look at some of the screenshots for this game when you've got a chance, and it's basically the entire map just swimming in zombies. It's a lot of enemies and so I guess there's also a bit of a tower defense mechanic in there although that's much lighter than what you might expect from you know the rest of the game I, I don't think the tower defense is really something that's gonna be invoking too heavily but instead if you're into command and conquer you're into starcraft you're into things of that nature warcraft this will probably be one of those games that you'll think is pretty interesting it's currently in beta right now so the final release of the game is not out it's scheduled to come out next year in the spring of 2018 it's currently in beta testing and so let's start a new survival game and see if this is something that you wanted to invest in your life. Uh, there's already a survival game not finished yet. Go ahead and continue. I don't really care. Uh, there's different maps. There's different durations and there's different infected populations. If you adjust these, it'll make your score factor go up and down. And depending on whether or not you win, you unlock new maps based on the score factor. And so all we have for right now is the Dark Moorland, but later on there's Peaceful Lowlands, Frozen Highlands, Desolated Wasteland. Uh, the game duration is basically how long your city has to survive in order to win. And so 100 days is the challenging kind of normal setting. And then how many infected you're going to have. We have a medium population of infected, which is going to be challenging. And so 100% score factor will make it so that if we win this one, we'll actually end up getting the peaceful lowlands. So let's go ahead and start the game on off. I haven't played a whole lot. But from what I have played, I've played about three games now. It seems pretty challenging. I don't think I've locked in on the magical formula yet for a win. But... I think I've got it down well enough to know that, like, hey, we can play the game for a little while. So here's our main building at the center. Uh, we've started out with what looks like five units, a normal armored soldier, and a bunch of scouts. We could spend a bunch of time looking around, trying to get things all set up. But for right now, what we really need our workers. Uh, when you get workers, they're going to go into this slot right here, and workers will actually just flow through and use the various resource buildings that you have available, like your quarries, your hunter's lodges, things of that nature. And I think each one of these gives you four workers, I think. And so that should be 16 workers. We've got a stone quarry over here. We've got a forest. We've got a lake right here, which may be very helpful. I actually think we're in a pretty solid position right now. This is a stone quarry right here, and so we'll keep an eye on that for later. Our workers are all ready to go. Uh, Milan Sorel, he wants to be our mayor. He gives us sniper soldiers. Okay. And then we've got Gerelda Siler. Uh, she gives us command center, energy supply, plus 20. So it depends if you want electricity or not, or you want free snipers, because we'll end up doing research a little bit later. I would recommend you use these as breathing periods right here. That tends to be what I do. Just because, you know, the game's pretty fast-paced, so while you're sitting here deciding if you want to select your mare, uh, this is like a click-per-second type game where you really want to be moving fast, because it's going to escalate on you very quickly. You're going to get invasions of the undead every now and again, every couple days, and you're going to want to make sure that you've, like, built things to stop that from happening. So with Geralda Siler... The permanent energy supply seems good. I don't know how that's going to factor in later, but hell, give me permanent energy supply. We've got a lake right here, which is going to help out with our food supply. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a fisherman's cottage right there. And then if I can, I'll put another one right there. And so there it is. We got two fishermen's cottages. The next thing that we really want to look into is we probably want to get ourselves a sawmill but we only have one forest over here which has got me a little bit worried if there's no other jobs your villagers will just generate money if there's no other jobs they just walk back and forth in between their buildings and give you like gold which is this top right here we've got gold we've got wood we've got stone we've got iron and we've got oil are going to be the resources that we're looking into we don't want to go too hardcore into it actually it looks like you get 16 so three, all right, so we've got three tents. Oh, the fishermen's cottages, gotcha. They come with some more workers, too. All right, well, there's a little bit more gold. The next thing I'm going to recommend is that we make a sawmill just so we can get some wood over here, giggity, giggity, goo, and all that. I'm going to take some of these scouts, and let's have a look around for anything that might be terrifying. So we got zombie hordes over here. We've got a forest that's kind of surrounding this area. 
it's going to be important that we find ourselves a stone supply because we're not able to build soldiers unless we have more stone. Weirdly enough, there's not a lot of zombies down there. Well, this zombie over here is getting adventurous, and so he's going to come after our city. You don't want zombies to get to your worker tents. Oh my god, if a zombie gets to your worker tents, it converts all the workers inside into zombies, and it's the worst thing that will ever happen to you. Seriously, it totally sucks. You really don't want that to happen. We've got 300-something gold, okay. We've got a mill over here which generates energy for the colony. Don't think we're going to need that. Instead, I want a quarry is what I want next. We're generating a little bit of wood, so we'll get 11 wood per cycle every 8 hours, I guess. I think we can also pause and unpause the game if we just wanted to look around and figure out the situation by using the space bar. So it's got a little bit of a, a push-pause action thing going on, too. So a bunch of zombies over there. All right. Bunch of zombies over there. Well then, let's maybe think about a few more cash generating houses. So there we go, whatever we've got room for. Uh, we need to defend these cottages with our lives. It doesn't matter what we do, we really have to defend these tents. I don't want like half our population being converted into zombies. Soldier, you got a zombie coming in, so go ahead and take care of him. So there it is, you'll see he's going to get over there and start fighting with the zombie, and it is dead. To get to this stone quarry over here, I'm a little bit worried about it. But we're going to have to do it. Uh, we barely have room right there to make that happen. I would like to nestle it in right on that little corner right there. But I don't think it's going to work. I want it to be right there because I think we might get more stone out. But if that's the best we can do, that's the best we can do. And so what we want to look into now is the possibility of building ourselves... Yep, there's more enemies right there, which is precisely why I put my rangers right there. So give me a couple rangers over here. Yeah, spread them out a little bit. We'll put some rangers here, some rangers there. Uh, defensive units would probably be a good idea. For 10 wood and 120 gold, we could put in a defensive tower. I would recommend it. I would recommend it. So there goes our first defensive tower right there. We have a zombie on that side that's coming in to mess with us. Let's go ahead and cycle our defense on over to this side. You need to not be within attack range of that zombie, though. I would love for you to not get eaten by a zombie today. Quarry's doing its thing, so we're actually officially banging out some stone for the moment. It's a little expensive, but we're able to make it work. Why do I hear the sound of zombies? I was going to say, do you hear what I hear? It's getting around to the Christmas season, man. I got Christmas songs on the brain already. We're not there yet. It's still a little early, but you get what I mean. I think when you build a tower, they get like a bonus to their attack and their defense. Oh, they're watching attack range. Okay, well, you go inside of there then. So we've got an archer up on the tower, on the double. I really want to focus on getting a soldier center up as soon as possible, but we're actually having trouble stacking up any real stone. So I think we're probably going to want to expand out down this way. This way hasn't looked too dangerous, and that's what's got me thinking that maybe down there is the best way to go. So what we can do is we can put in a Tesla tower, which is going to extend our range. I would put it behind the tower so I could put it behind a wall right there. And then this will actually expand the range that we can build buildings to. A couple of zombies looking around over here. Go shoot that one too. Just in case. Is she going to be able to kill that before it gets here? God, I hope she can. There you go. Get him. Yep, drop those things. Just keep on shooting. Don't stop the arrows. All right, so we've got a couple more things done down in here. My other suggestion would be come up with, like, another sawmill. If we can't have another sawmill, it's going to cause us problems. And so maybe we put in another Tesla tower down here. So we've got the Tesla tower right there. That doesn't cost us any energy or anything like that. I am planning on putting in another wall, like, over in this area. Soldier, go stop that from happening. Yeah, that's your job, man. That's your job. Just go over there and be a gangster for right now shoot those things down so those zombies are now down and dead as soon as that's done we can put another lumber mill down here which will help out with the wood supply which actually as of right now isn't that bad our wood supply could honestly be a lot worse how's our food looking our food is at 47 and we're consuming 20 something okay we got an attack coming down from up here i don't think she's gonna need help i actually think she's doing okay on that side our watch seems to be going all right at the moment I don't want to jinx it or anything like that, but put in another tower right here. 
And once that's all good to go, we've got four more stone right there. I think we have the 20 stone that we need in order to make soldiers now. So we need eight workers. Okay, if we're going to need eight workers, let's... Oh, there's zombies coming in from that way too. Luckily, we appear to have most of our points covered for right now. So I don't think we have too many things waiting to go awry. Uh, with our Tesla Tower down here, I think we could squeeze in a couple more houses along that side. Just to make sure that we got the stuff that we need. It only costs us gold to make more workers. So there's nothing too much to be stressed about right there. I'm trying to bum rush as fast as possible and get to, get to soldiers. I mean, if we can't defend ourselves, that's just all kinds of a mess. With the wood that we have stored up for right now, I'm going to say that we should do... Let's go ahead and put in a wall, like so. And now that we've got that wall in, I'm going to put in a wood gate. Right... Tab key, there we go. I'm going to put in a wood gate right there. And then instead of the tower, we're going to put in a wood wall, like so. We've got plenty of wood at the moment, so I'm not that stressed about acquiring more. I mean, we're not generating as much as I would like to generate, but we're not generating, like, small amounts either. It looks like we don't have too many zombies headed in. I don't want to jinx it, though. The second I say that, I know this is going to get out of... This is going to get super out of pocket. We've got... Okay, so there's our soldier center right there. Soldier center sounds great. I would love to have it right about now. Unfortunately, we... I may have caused a problem for myself by doing that. But I'm hoping this soldier can hold and take care of business over here. Then what we'll do is we'll make a whole bunch of units down on this side. We'll rush that way to clear it out. And hopefully we'll be alright. Uh, if we got a bunch of Zeds coming from that direction. Go ahead and you evacuate. Yeah, get on out of there. Come up here and help out on this side. I'll kind of shuffle around my defense for a little bit. Just to make sure that things work the way that I want them to work. I don't know how many people we can put in a tower, but I'm going to assume it's going to be quite a few. I love the little details, too, how there's like little banners hanging from the towers and whatnot. That's really cool stuff. I enjoy that. So we have workers right now, two in the fisherman colony. Okay, 44 right there. A little bit more wood coming in. I probably should have used this for the wood pile, but frankly, I need to get the soldiers up and running until I get soldiers doing their thing. I'm thinking what I'm going to try and do is do like a concentric ring. And so we'll ring off an area, and once that's safe, we'll expand out, and we'll make another ring. And we'll kind of just make wall after wall after wall that the enemy has to break through in order to get after us. Uh, we have the ability to make a ranger. And so these are excess workers, I guess. So yeah, give me lots of rangers. As many soldiers as I can possibly get. I just want to make sure, yeah, exactly, that that doesn't happen right there. Get down here and defend the wall. There you go. We'll fall back as much as we need to in order to make this work. We're not being hit anywhere else right now. So it shouldn't be too big of a concern. Are they attacking anywhere else? I don't think they are. Wood is starting to pile back up. We don't have a lot of wood right now. Oh, good. That ranger spawned just in time. Fantastic. You go in the tower. You go in the tower. Yep, don't get chewed on, please. You... Where'd my other soldier go? Yeah, you hang out with this soldier over here. That sounds good to me. You hang out with the soldier over here. We need to build another lumber yard. But I need four for a sawmill, so I'm going to need a few more workers. Let's see where we could put in some buildings. So there's one right there. How's our food supply looking? We are consuming 45 out of 47 food. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. We may want to take the edge then off some of these units just to make sure that we're not over consuming with some of the soldiers we have available. So these three are watching this side. They're watching over there. Those two are watching over there. Shouldn't be anything too terrifying. I think we should be all right. Total population's at 44. We have six available workers. I think I'm happy with what I've got going on for right now. Make one more soldier. I'd like to reinforce these towers over here and have a few more guys inside of them who are ready to kill. So go ahead and put her in there. Put her in there. So at least all the towers are manned. And now that we're maxed out on wood again, I'd like to see my defenses. Oh yeah, we need another Tesla tower. Alright, as far as industry goes, we've got a warehouse, maximum storage capacity of resources and gold. That's probably smart to have too. Let's put in another tower over here, about as far out as we can get it. 
And the plan right there is to actually land grab as much as possible. I'm trying to steal out here. I'm trying to get my hands on everything that I possibly can. You guys hang out over here. Just make sure that this side is defended. Tesla Tower is doing its thing. We weren't blessed with, with all the things we were blessed with in this playthrough, we actually were not blessed with an overabundance of building space. I think that's going to be the fundamental thing that we're going to struggle with for a little while. That's not a lot of food right there, but is that a hunter's cottage? I need a fisherman cottage. There we go. Put a fisherman cottage in right there. That should be reasonably safe because it's nestled in between two towers, and so I'm not really that scared about the possibilities on that side. But yeah, the number one thing that I would tell you in the early game is definitely don't let zombies get to your cottages. Oh my god, that ruined an entire play for me as one zombie snuck through. I didn't see him. He found a hole in my defenses and one zombie got into my, my tents and my living areas. And when he got into my tent and my living area, it instantly converts all the workers in that area to zombies too. And it was just like boom, 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 boom. And suddenly like an entire district of my city was all zombies and it was just... It was not recoverable. It was not recoverable, I'm telling you. It was not a good situation to be in, and so avoid that if you can. Now, we have more than enough wood right now. That would lead me to believe that I should keep expanding the walls. So I'm going to take this out about as far as I can. That goes out to there. We have a gate right there. I think I should probably go with another gate over here somewhere maybe and now that we have another gate we'll call that like a corner gate i'll put in another tower right there and then what i'll do is you can be canceled and so we've actually effectively walled off that side i'll probably move some archers around just to make sure we have things going on how many available workers do i have i have four available workers Okay, and is our food recovering? Our food is indeed recovering. That sounds good to me. We haven't really secured this side of the map. But then again, it's not really that horrifying of a situation right now. We seem to be holding it down okay. I mean, the final thing that I would want to do on this side is as far as defenses go, I'll probably put another tower right here, another Tesla tower anyways. Just to make sure that we've got things going around. And so let's say that I put a Tesla tower right there. Then I can wall this off right here with a gate. And maybe fit in another fisherman's lodge right there. I don't know. Who's fighting? I hear arrows being shot. I definitely hear arrows being shot. It's day 9 already? Good lord. Doesn't feel like day 9 to me, but hey. What are you going to do? Uh, you pop out. Not all of you. You go over there so that you can handle that zombie. You go over there. Oh, yeah, we got all kinds of enemies coming in. He's almost through the gate, too. That's problematic. Uh, somebody come over here and reinforce her on the corner. She's going to be taking a little bit of guff over here, and i got to make sure nothing chews on that wall too hard. It's already got some damage thrown into it, and that's got me a tiny bit worried. So there you go. That should be more than enough firepower to keep that area defended. Uh, he's only got one friend over here, but he's also got a gun. And so I think that kind of helps on a certain level. Go ahead and move over to there. We'll keep an eye on things on that side. I'm happy about our defenses over here. I don't think we have much to worry about on that side. And so we'll just kind of keep it taken care of. Love the art style of this game and the way that it's being presented. Everything looks very good. Everything looks really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, because we have this over here now, because this is safe, let's go ahead and drop in a few more workers' cottages. I don't want to overdo it because I don't know what our food is going to look like. But if we could have a surplus, that would be great. In addition, another option that you may want to look into is another fisherman's lodge over here once we get the walls installed on this side, along with the towers that will go along with it. I don't know how many soldiers can go inside of each location. There we go. Got a few more guys ready to go. A few more workers. A few more things cracking and happening and all that. So with a few more workers ready to go, uh, where was that other Tesla tower at? I thought I told them to build another Tesla tower. I could swear that I did. Maybe a zombie came into the area or something? I don't know. Kill the zombies off. There you go. That'll work. It's not the maximum range extension that I was looking for, but it's good enough for right now. She should be able to handle all the problems down there. I don't think that's going to be an issue. And then, oh, nope. He made it to the worker's cottage. Yep. Jesus. 
And that right there is why you got to be careful because now we have runner zombies and the runner zombies are much more obnoxious to deal with and they're killing off my rangers. And so we have a very real problem right now. Uh, we are going to have to repair all buildings. We're not going to have a choice right there. You guys go get him. There you go. Get the zombies out of here. Get the zombies out of here. So that is a disabled tent. Uh, structure does not have access to energy. There we go. So we got to repair you first. Repair every single building we have for right now. And that was a first-hand example of why you don't want zombies to get into the city. Right there. It's all bad. Nothing good will come of a bunch of zombies being inside your city. It will be a mess, and you will regret it. So they're repairing the Tesla Towers over here, and they're also repairing the wood mill. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I can live with that. Uh, we have enough stone to do some other stuff. We have like nine workers available. So my suggestion would be here. Get down here and shoot him before he causes problems. Yep, get him up out of my face. Uh, we'll make like three more archers with what we have going on. We'll keep six workers just kind of in the background. I'll add another one up there, add another one to each tower, and hopefully things will be okay. This tower kind of seems like it's pointless right now, but... We're trying to make it work. Ain't no more zombies trying to mess with us over there. As soon as these Tesla towers are back up. But as you can tell, this is like a massive waste of our resources. It's a huge pain in the ass whenever this stuff happens. From there, the next thing we're going to want to look into is like a tower. And maybe like a tower. We'll put two in up here. Go kill that guy before he tries to hit our stuff that's building. So I have people around. A couple more zombies coming in from that side. I'm okay with those walls right there. Looks like we produced a few more units, so I'm happy with the way production is going through. And I like this game a lot. I really sincerely do. I think this game is really cool. Uh, the control scheme is a little antiquated. Use the arrow keys in order to move the screen. But I assume you can rebind that pretty quickly. I prefer to have WASD controlling the, uh, the camera. Make your life a little bit easier. Make things bounce a little bit more readily but aside from that that's pretty much the only thing that I've noticed so far that I've found to be off-putting that's like the one thing and honestly that isn't even worth like if I was doing a review right now you wouldn't lose any points for it I'd just be like yeah it's it's like one of those things like I gotta take a second to rebind keys but I mean it's PC gaming if you're uh, phobic about rebinding keys maybe you shouldn't be PC gaming you know what I mean Alright, so this side is the only side that is undefended, and that makes me feel really scared. I don't like it. I don't like it for a second. Our food is not great. I have a feeling that it could probably be better. However, there's already buildings around here doing the same thing. So unfortunately, we just kind of got to live with that. However, I could do a hunter's cottage right there. That works. That'll give us another 15 food, and I think that's something that we could look forward to. We probably want to look into the possibility of a warehouse or something like that. We need eight workers in order to do a warehouse, and that'll increase our resource supply. Good. I'm glad I put in those towers when I did. Really glad I put in those towers when I did. So I don't know how rapidly I want to expand out into this area. If I expand out into this area, the problem that we're going to run into long term is that these are going to become pointless. And it's going to get resource intensive. If we go through with this strategy that I'm currently going through with, which is where I'm going to make a ring, defend it, expand, make a ring, defend it, expand, make a ring, defend it, it's going to get expensive. It's going to get really, really expensive in order to make that. However, I do think that's the safest way to do it. So if the outer ring falls, we've got kind of like an attack on Titan thing going where everybody's got a fallback point that they can go to in order to protect themselves. Is that zombie even messing with me right there? Or is he just like sitting there? See, that concerns me a little bit right there, but we're defended on every side, so I guess I got no complaints for the moment. Let me go back, and we'll take a look. Uh, where can I expand my Tesla Towers out to? Tesla Towers can get out to, like, right there. I would like to take over this lake if I can. Like, that'd be really great. Why do I hear the sound of arrows being fired? Oh, they must be firing at him. Okay, Zombie Swarm detected near the colony from the south. All right, I don't have a whole lot of workers left, but uh, I can reroute some people. Like, I can kick her out and then put her over here so that maybe she helps out with that. 
Got four archers on the tower on that side. This might be an interesting day for us. This might be an interesting day. I kind of want to send out a scout to see where this group is. But I, what's that worker doing? Oh, please stop doing dumb stuff. Yeah, let's send a scout out. And then my name is Splattercat. This game is called They Are Billions. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the title so far. I think this game is going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to doing future episodes. If you've been looking for some zombie building combat, this is the game for you. It's one to keep an eye on. I'm definitely impressed the amount of advancement that they've shown since Legends of or Lords of Zulima or Legends of Zulima or whatever their last game was called is actually pretty sophisticated. They've done really good with this game. And so I'm looking forward to checking it out in the future with all of you. We'll do the big zombie swarm attack in the next episode. Hi to everybody. Bye-bye. If you like what I do here at the Nerd Castle, be sure to check out the Twitch stream where I play games that have been on the channel and all kinds of stuff like that. You can check out the Patreon to support me. If you don't know who I am, my name is Splattercat, and I play indie games on the internet. And in the next episode, we'll be killing a zombie horde. So that'll be fun. Bye, everybody.